All right, here's a hopefully quick demonstration on how to extract your Gmod Warframe models to uh, Blender. Now, the first thing you want to do is, well, you'll need uh, Gary's mod, of course. And then you want to go to the Steam Workshop and get your uh, Warframe packs from uh, Nick out, as I recall. Then you'll want to go ahead and get G Mad Extractor. Strange. I'm not sure why it's called G Mad. Go ahead, run that, and then you'll just extract your folders to, well, your GMA files to wherever. In this case, I have extracted them here. Uh, I call it male frames, or in this case, it's boy frames. I have uh, female frames, and I think I have prime frames. Yeah, here's prime frames. So after that, uh, if you let's look into the girl frames for now. You'll see these. Uh, you'll have models, make out, warframe. Uh, ignore this decompiled uh, folder here, but you'll see a lot of VTX and VBDs, that sort of thing. Uh, oh, another thing real quickly. And I think you may already have this. If Blender decides to load up, you will need an add-on and hopefully I still have this add-on because I just upgraded Blender to 2.76. Uh, yes, you will need the source engine uh, sort of add-on so you can import and export, more importantly, import SMD files. <clears throat> now, so now that we have access to these VTX and whatever files, we're going to again convert these files into SMD files. To do that, I use, I believe it's Crowbar. Yes, so you have your MDL files, which are right here, as you can see. So you can, you go ahead and you go and browse, you select, or in this case, I'm in the, oh, yeah. This is his other uh, file thing. Yeah, uh, let me pull it up real quick. Female frames, models, make out, warframe. And then you have the list of all the MDLs, right? So you select your MDL and click open. And what I do is I just compile the folder, right? So what that does, it just gives me a decompiled folder of all the frames that were in that or all the models that were in that folder which is quite nice so now we have our SMD files so then we can go into blender and let me just delete everything here real quickly so we can get import SMD and if we go to let's say uh, Warframe, and then where was it? Female frames, models, make out, Warframe, decompiled. And then let's say, um, oh, I don't know, uh, Ember. I'm not sure what this QC thing is, but we can't import that. We want, actually, I'm curious what happens if we do that. I've never tried to import a QC. Oh, interesting. That does kind of work. Although, it has a bunch of it extra stuff in here. Oh, that must be the uh, colliders and, or the uh, the bones maybe and her extra helmets. Yeah. <laughs> so normally the way you do it, yeah, you could do it this way I suppose. Uh, normally what I do is import and our SMD. And so if we, we do Ember Body and let's just do this one. Oh whoops, I guess it's important to let me just start a new new thing here. 
So you import <clears throat> the new So Ember body, you import that. And of course it's a huge file or a huge model. Uh it's definitely not to scale. That's a freaking monster. Uh then we can import or whoops, sorry. Import the uh helmet. Now in this case, Neckout gives us uh the different the three different helmets for the uh Ember model. We'll just go with the default helmet. And that's how you import your models. Now, there's another thing you have to uh, kind of worry about uh, for importing your textures. Now, if you're not going to rip the textures yourself and you want to use the textures that Nickout provides, you will have to convert those as well. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's see, we want email frames, materials, and then let's see, we're working on Ember. So you see you have all these VTFs and VMTs. We're mainly, we, we're just going to convert these uh, VTF files. Uh, so for me, what I use is VTF edit. So this allows you to uh, just use, just throw in the textures. Uh, of course, this is using uh, the textures that Nickout provides that are a little bit different than uh, how the textures are used within uh, Warframe itself, but these still work. So you have your diffuse, you have your your normal map, your let's see. I'm not sure what body blend is. Oh, I guess this is this is the illumination map where the energy is. And of course you have all your helmet stuff. So you have your helmet texture, you have your helmet emissive, and oh you have your helmet strange. You have two of those. Uh you have your normal map, and then we're just working on the different uh helmets so you go ahead and you know export those to whatever file you want like a PNG uh, in this case let's just do a quick like a, let's do the body we'll export that to frame and I like it we'll do PNG just use text Oops. So we'll save that. So then in Blender, when you go to your materials, and I'm using cycles by the way, so use our nodes and let's get our image texture. And we'll go hunt for that texture. It's uh, in Warframe, I do believe. Test 01. And then if you go to the texture view or mode, whatever, viewport shading mode, then you can see your texture that you applied. As well as you can go to the materials if you want, if you added normal maps and all that stuff. And then you can also go to render as well. So that's how I do as far as uh importing Nickout's models or just importing uh, Gmod packages, uh, add-ons. That's how I do this uh, with in terms of the models and the textures. So hopefully that answers how I do what I do. Um, it is very different from ripping the models and the textures yourself. And of course doing it yourself requires a lot more work. But uh, just using Nick Alt's models, this is uh, pretty much how I do it. Hope that helps. Goodbye.